The National Institute of Health estimates around 2 million Americans are living with limb loss, like an amputated hand, foot, leg, or even an arm. And most of those rely on some sort of prosthetic limb to function. But while the prosthetics are available and they're good, they're still not perfect. But a trio of high school students at Flower Mound, they have set out to make a better prosthetic. As Bo Evans found out, it was for one of the best reasons you could think of. Most 16 and 17 year old high school students are worried about a lot of the same things. Some combination of grades, sports, and... Do other kids think I'm cool? Not necessarily in that order. But for a trio at Marcus High School in Flower Mound... Quasi direct drive actuators. They spent their time thinking about something else. Um, hundreds of hours. I can't even keep track of how many hours. So much time, it even got them in trouble with their parents. They were not happy. I was grounded for a month. Sam Skotnikov, Chen Young Kim, and Ishan Dev Prashan have spent the better part of the last 18 months building this. And it's a mind-controlled bionic leg. You heard him right. A prosthetic leg you can control with your brain. We started with paper cups and hot glue and servo. We went through around, I think, 40 different iterations now. Using this headset, a person can make the leg move and walk. It's a multi-node headset, you know, records the actual electrical frequencies of the brain and so assigns them numerical values. And this is com uh, connected Bluetooth via to our computer board. It can also move in ways other prosthetics on the market can't. That can adapt to different terrains which has massive implications for people who need prosthetic limbs. This has the potential to really help millions of amputees out there. And if this is applied to many other prosthetics in the future, it can definitely like change the lives of amputees and change the, um, the current dimensions of prosthetic market. But they didn't build this to help millions of amputees. They built it to help one. It was in the time he walks, how um, there's a um, unbalance of energy in his body. Because of that, he had back pain and he couldn't walk long distances. They wanted to help one of their friends. Do you want me to start my story from the very beginning? A friend who's been through a lot. I've had three open heart surgeries. I used to have a trach. I have scoliosis and I can't burp on my own. I can't go outside 90 or 90 above, 50 or below. I've had an amputation from uh, on my right leg from the knee down. I am missing a rib on my right side, exposing my right side of my liver. What else? Oh, my ACL on my left knee is a uh, little too non-existent. Maybe he's been through a lot is an understatement. I was born in Dallas. Um, I was not expected to live for the first 24 hours of my life. Aiden Ballinger has been fighting for his life since day one. Staying alive was number one on his priority list. Walking may have been number two. Finding friends? No, I did not think I would have friends like this. Friends who build you a brand new leg straight out of a science fiction movie. And I thought down and then the yeah. leg went down and then I thought up and the leg went up. And I, I'm like, okay, this is insane. Oh. When he like first moved and like using the leg, I wasn't like, I was actually relieved. Like, I was like, this actually worked. The boys won a $50,000 scholarship from the Regeneron International Science Fair, hosted by the Society of Science. But they didn't do it for the money or to win a contest. They did it for their friend. Best friends, like my, one of my best friends. So yeah, Aiden's just one of our best friends, just a genuine friend that we had before we even started this project. I'm expecting like 10 years there, maybe we um, still hang out every day and stuff. And these kids, it's just surprised me on how much they could put into this. In Flower Mound, Bo Evans, CBS News, Texas.